One of the most amazing, inspiring quotes that I have ever come across, and this is for Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu concerning a dua He said, "Ana la ahmilu hamma al-ijaba, walakin ahmilu hamma al-dua." Such a profound, powerful statement. He said, I am never concerned about my dua being answered and accepted because Allah promised that the dua will always be answered and accepted. And Allah Azza wa Jal never breaks his promise. Then he said, Walakin ahmilu hamma dua. The main concern that I have is continuously making this dua. That's his main concern. And so this, brothers and sisters in Islam, is teaching us the importance of a dua and to be focused on asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being consistent in doing so. And we are now in the month of Ramadan. And the month of Ramadan is the month of dua. Not only that, but it's the month of accepted dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Baqarah, when he told us about the month of Ramadan, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ He discussed something about Ramadan. And then straight after this ayah, Allah Azza wa Jal, He said, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ Right after the ayah that introduced us to Ramadan, Allah Azza wa Jal, He said that whenever my servants ask you about me, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am me, I answer the call of the caller whenever he calls. This is an ayah known as Ayatul Dua, the ayah of Dua, and it came straight after the ayah of Ramadan. Well, ulama rahimahumullah, they said this implies something. The secret in this matter is to teach you and I that the best time for a dua would be in Ramadan. Allahu Akbar. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said three types of people, their dua is never rejected. And he mentioned one of them, As-sa'imu hatta yuftir. The fasting person until he breaks his fast. So what we learn from this is from the moment you begin your fasting, which is at Adhan al-Fajr, all the way until you break your fast at Adhan al-Maghrib, all of these hours are a moment of an accepted dua. So you make the most of this time after Adhan al-Fajr, you make dua before al-Dhuhr, after al-Dhuhr, before al-Asr, and just before Al-Maghrib, you make dua, and even at the time of iftar, right before that and right after that is also a moment for an accepted dua. Brothers and sisters in Islam, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his names is Al-Mujib. Al-Mujib, the one who responds, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahu Akbar. You know, today you will never send an email to the big billionaires and millionaires on earth requesting from them. You won't do that. You know why? Because your email will be unanswered and none of them would respond to you and it'll go to spam and it'll be deleted. Why? Because these big billionaires on earth, they are not Al-Mujib. They're not called the one who responds. Yet Allah Azza wa Jal, from his name is Al-Mujib. He hears the dua you make and he answers it according to his knowledge and his wisdom subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even though there are millions that will be making dua in different languages, in different times, all at the same time. He hears them all, just like he's hearing one person, subhanAllah, and he answers them all. So brothers and sisters in Islam, this is a month of dua. Make a dua, and from the most important dua that you should commit to is asking Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive you, asking Allah Azza wa Jal to free you from the fire, and also asking Allah the paradise and seeking refuge from the hellfire. Because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, during this month of Ramadan, he said, خِصْلَتَانِ لَا غِنَى بِهِمَا عَنْكُمْ أو لَا غِنَى عَنْكُمْ بِهِمَا That these are two dua, especially in Ramadan, you cannot deal without, you cannot do without. Most important dua, asking Allah the paradise and seeking refuge from the hellfire. And if you don't know much dua, then these two dua will summarize everything that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us of dua. We ask Allah azza wa jal to accept our dua. We ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sin, to admit us into the paradise and to save us from the hellfire and its punishment. Are you sick of haram content popping up on YouTube and social media? Well, we have a solution. Check out the One Islam TV app. 
featuring music-free Islamic content. Check it out by downloading from these platforms or visit www.oneislam.tv.